Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Hey guys, my name is Chris and I'm the Parker Students Coordinator. Today, we're gonna talk about living in harmony with one another through love. Doesn't that sound nice? To be unified as the body of Christ, which is the church at all times? Now, is that the reality? No, it isn't. Many Christians are divided over many issues. So this is what Colossians 3, 14 through 15 has to say about living in harmony with other believers. And I'm going to read that right from my Bible. Above all, clothe yourselves with love, which binds us all together in perfect harmony. And let the peace that comes from Christ rule in your hearts. For as members of one body, you are called to live in peace and always be thankful. So what this scripture is saying is that we are called to love and by being clothed in love, we will be able to live with one another in peace and in harmony. If we let Jesus' love and peace rule in our lives, we will be able to be at peace with each other. If we allow hate and opposition against other Christians rule our lives, then there will be strife in the body of Christ. For example, right now, a lot of Christians in America are disunified. Why? You might already know why, but because they have differing points of view when it comes to politics. Some Democratic and Republican Christians refuse to talk with one another or to even be friends, or they argue amongst each other. This is not what Jesus wants. Jesus wants us to live in harmony with one another despite our differences. Jesus himself was able to love and die for all of us, no matter our differences or sins. Jesus still loves us regardless. He wants us as believers to reflect his love when we love one another. How can we lead more people to Jesus or focus on strengthening the body of Christ if we're too busy arguing about our differences? Don't let Satan use you to rip apart the body of Christ. Let Jesus use you to bring love, peace, and unity amongst the body of Christ. Lay down your own opinions, strife, tension, etc. at the feet of Jesus. None of those petty arguments have anything to do with leading people to Jesus. Our mission as the body of Christ is to lead people to a life-changing relationship with Jesus. Let's be unified in that mission. Let's wear love and be peacemakers like Jesus demonstrates in scripture this week. Bye.